Jim Hensel in Portland, Oregon. I'm going to show you how to build a Mason Bee or Orchard Bee house. This one is made out of uh, scrap uh, three quarter inch uh, so called one by material and I'll give you some dimensions in a minute. Uh, but as you can see here it has a uh, 46 ounce juice can that the uh, straws would fit in, with liners. Uh, you put 72 together in a bundle, twist tie them together, and then stick them in here. Uh, just to note, th this gap here is about a half an inch if there's a board in the back here that's three quarters. So there's just a slight, if the, if the, if the house is level, this is just has a slight incline, just in case of moisture. Uh, you can also see on this side that the... Uh, the, there is a no, bit of an overhang here as well, uh, again, to keep uh, moisture out. This should be placed under an eave uh, so that, uh, that the, it won't get uh, wet. Uh, okay, to build it, let me set this aside. <clears throat> I happen to have some scrap uh, one by tens, but you could make this in several pieces. Uh, this, this distance is uh, nine inches. That's actually eight and three quarters, but, uh, uh, but that distance could be a little wider. You could make this out of plywood, although making uh, the sides out of solid wood and the front and back out of plywood would probably be preferable to making the whole thing out of plywood because you're gonna nail or screw into the sides and edge, edge nailing into plywood doesn't work very well. Uh, so, this is uh, 13 and a half inches, this, this dimension here. Uh, the back is uh, six and a half inches. Uh, it's actually, so I take that back, it's six and three quarters. The side here is six and a half. And this uh, front piece started out as two and a half. And it also is 13 and a half wide. Uh, sorry, the side then is this also six and three quarters by by six and a half. Uh, this dimension is six and a half, and this dimension is six and three quarters. <clears throat> so you can see uh, the the end goes inside with the nails from the side and the front. The uh, uh, back piece here is just a piece of three-quarter material. This happens to be an inch wide and it's just uh, nailed from the back here to uh, hold it in place. I use a tight bond 3. It's a waterproof glue in all cases. The, uh, the only real tricky bit in this whole thing is making this angle so that there's a bit of uh, water shedding off here. I suppose it's not uh, absolutely necessary. Uh, you could just make this board uh, the six and three quarters and make this one uh, maybe flat across a little bit shorter and just you know nail it at the front if there was a little gap there it really wouldn't matter but uh, I, given I was making this from a from an example that a, a friend loaned me uh, this is about a nine degree angle and it's both this board here has that angle cut in it. See, this is just a touch longer than that, and then this board has that angle cut in it. Uh, I did this uh, with the table saw, just moved the saw to nine degrees, uh, set a fence for this length or this uh, width here, and cut it through. This one I had to use a tapering jig. I'm sure you could find a uh, YouTube video on how to use a tapering jig. Uh, if I wasn't so facile and didn't have one, I, as I say, I would just uh, I would make this board uh, five and a half inches by six and a half inches, and there'd be this this would act as there'd be a gap here, but I, I don't really think that'd be a problem. Uh, you could nail a piece of lath over it or whatever. Um, then to make these, I just took the this can, and uh, I came in uh, an inch and a half and made a line, you can see there, and I came in an inch and a half and made a line, and then I made a line at the half inch mark, 
And then I just set the can on there and uh, drew a circle, half a circle in both cases. Then uh, I used a bandsaw, but you could also use a jigsaw or a coping saw just to cut these out. And uh, and there you have it. It's a pretty straightforward little box. I uh, encourage you to make it out of recycled materials. Uh, this is old barn wood. You can see that the that some wood boring animal has had a cut its way with it, but uh, it should work just fine to, to hold the mason bees. Well, of course, strip the soup can or the uh, juice can uh, label off. I may paint it as well just to keep it from getting rusty, uh, but uh, it should be should be just fine. So enjoy.